sure. I know. Yeah, very good. <laughs> We're trying the new microphone. So that's fun. I don't know if it's working. Well, now in a yeah. minute or two. Okay. Say something because I'm going to go in and see. What are we, just, what are we saying? Are you just I testing know, the I'm microphone? Just testing. Don? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, let's start again. Oh, you don't have the microphone on. Processing the wall, the yes. inside of the exterior. Yep. There. The plan is to glue these the liquid nails into the foam. I'd like to be able to attach them or have them attached to something on the floor at the top. Eventually we're going to run, we'll connect across the top from one to the other, which I just realized is going to be a problem. Why? Um, because when we were gluing the foam... Uh-oh. Did I go too high? No. We aren't in line. No. <laughs> so we did every other intercorrugation. But what we missed was, if we did this corrugation here, we needed to do that corrugation there. Oh. Right? Because oh. we're going to have... a yeah. A member here and a member here so I'm off to, to connect across. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we can just glue where we don't line up. Just put a new one. Okay. It doesn't, so that's all. We don't have to take them down. But we'll create, basically, it'll just connect across. And then we'll have our cavity to spray foam the ceiling. Okay. And run our wiring above the ones that go across okay. so we can drape wires and right did you decide right about the it. stringer on the top what we're doing yeah so that's that's where this problem started mm -hmm. I think because we don't have enough height to do a right flat what do you mean across the bottom and then a flat across the top Okay. So I think we're going to get rid of the one down here, put this to the floor, then we can, we can screw that into the floor or something. And then, and then we have room for a... What was the purpose of the stringer on the bottom? It was just to make it um, maybe a little easier to put together. So you just build a wall, part, you know, outside, frame, and then bring outside, it outside, bring it in, set it. <laughs> The problem is going to be this, that now we're going to have to use the construction adhesive alone to hold this in place, which oh. I'm already well, concerned about. Just that here. was the advantage of the stringers. Yeah, then we wouldn't have to worry about doing this, drifting on us. Yeah, I don't know. How, I don't know how prone they're going to be to doing that anyway. I think that's the question. Okay. Is what? if we glue these up, are they gonna all fall down right away? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe. <laughs> we won't yeah. know until we start, so yeah. I guess we have to start somewhere. Yeah. Let's yeah. fill in Yeah, where we don't meet where we don't have and them. to see if this little microphone is working now. Has it worked? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you to Let's Andrew. See. I can't remember where we were last time but today either. we were going to start. I can't either. I think we changed our minds several times too, yeah. so whatever. I think we'll, so we're going to start <laughs> framing. We're going to try to start framing. And I think the idea is, I think we are going to tie the stringers across the top and the bottom. So I went out okay. and I got two by two, so it'll fit height-wise. Okay. And then we'll, the plan is that I just to lay these boards out, mark them where the two by fours are going to go, and then where we have this going on, we've got to cut that. Where we have what going on? Well, where, we, where we're past our oh, stud. Oh, yeah. We'll have to cut it in the middle, mark it to cut in the middle, because um, then we'll have a two by four. So we have our splice in the middle where we can put a two by four on each side. Yeah. Throw it in the middle and just shoot it in. Yep. And we got a nail gun. Cool. Let's see that. I don't like life easier. I hope so. Nice. 
Yeah. That looks dangerous. It is. It's kind of heavy, too. No idea. So, so we'll see Fair how, warning. We'll see how that works. <laughs> so, yeah. So, cool. I guess we just need to let's mark one out. And yeah, let's and do a front. Yeah, try let's and tag one together and see what happens. Okay, cool. That's the question. You raised an interesting issue. Yeah, because it's all the cabinets around that. Right. Window. Or shelves or whatever. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we will need to do a more of a structure. An actual structure there. Yeah. That being the case, what I'd like to do is make this its own wall. And then fill one in between. And then fill. Yeah. Is too far back or is this too far in? Uh, how will we know? And then like when I look down there, it does look like that one board is sticking out farther than the other. Side. These aren't touching. I know. But I mean, how do you know if it's the wall or the board? Well, that's um. So, well, so this is. This one is touching. This one is not. This one is touching. This one is touching. Problem is that we are counting on the construction adhesive to hold it. Mm -hmm. But if the walls and the 2 by 4s are too, mm -hmm. they're not straight enough, mm -hmm. it won't mm -hmm. do that. So how do we... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it looks like it couldn't possibly be big enough to heat the whole thing. But I think. 500 it, square feet. Yeah. It's, and this is three something. 320. Nothing. I mean. I love it. <laughs> It burns like kindling. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'll be awesome to have it up. Yeah, yeah. And have it burning. I can't wait. I kind of want to like mm -hmm. have a little fire. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we want to season it. <laughs> so we kind of changed our plan. Well, I mean, just, the concept is still the same. It's just, <laughs> we're gonna go, instead of going down this wall, we're gonna do this wall, this wall, and get the. Right, and we're doing that because we're not sure. It'll just hopefully hold the distance better.